Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid, which means this could resonate for you as a past, as a present, or a future situation. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. All right. So let us see here. We're going to do your energy, your person's energy. Okay. What's between you and this person? The obstacle or the challenge? Their thoughts about you, their feelings, intentions, actions. Okay. On the deck is the Four of Cups. So somebody could have been rejected in the past. They still want to offer you something though. And they can't stop thinking about it. They feel this... Gemini energy, they feel a very strong connection to you. They feel like you're soulmates, you belong together. We also have very strong uh, Virgo, Cancer, Libra, Aquarius. I mean, it could be any sign that you're dealing with. We have very strong um, Earth and Air energy here. Let's see what needs to be healed, surrendered, or released. I'm going to get a little bit more information before we go forward. What is going on here, please? What needs to be healed, surrendered, or released? Okay. okay. So this first card says, Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude. Be of service to others and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. And the second card says, Surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. Okay, so I think someone is really afraid that you're going to, like, reject them. Now, I'm not sure if there was a rejection between you and this person in the past. Like, uh, you rejected them or they rejected you. Or maybe there's an influencer or someone that's trying to come between you and this person. I feel like you guys got, like, a recurrent theme kind of going on. Um, Eight of Cups. Some of you are feel, are kind of feeling like this may not happen you know, you've been waiting a long time for something to kind of manifest or come together, but it's just not, maybe I should just pull away. Maybe I should focus my energy somewhere else because this person is, you know, not making a move, not saying something, not doing something. Like, will it happen? I think your person, this person that you have interest in is very attracted to you and likes you a lot, but they're afraid that you're going to reject them. Like I say, I don't know if there was a rejection in the past. And for some of you, you're like, it's not going to be me, Mystic. I'm not, if they like me, they're going to have to tell me. I'm not going to, I'm not saying that you have to talk to this person and tell them how you feel. But it's like you're trying to not focus on this, trying to focus on other things, trying to walk away, you know, redirect your energy. But this person that you're thinking of, they're coming through as the Ace of Wands towards you in their energy towards you. So this person wants to start something with you. They want to explore this. They want to experience this connection. They want to see like if this could work. You know, they find you really fascinating, fun, fiery, passionate. You know, a lot of physical attraction, a lot of chemistry here. Ace of Wands. It is a passionate new beginning. And that's what they have in mind. But for some of you, you might be wondering, will they walk away from something else? Or, you know, do, are they not going to do something about this? So do you walk away? between you and this person with a chariot like so this is cancer energy but this is about movement forward so for some of you this could be somebody who is at a distance from you but this is about things moving in the right direction like both of you kind of really wanting to take it to that next level take that next step together but the issue is somebody who can't stop overthinking something this is the problem. Somebody will not stop overanalyzing, questioning, you know, does this person like me? Should I say something? Should I do something? What if they reject me? I mean, for some of you, okay, again, I don't justify negative actions, behaviors, etc. But the whole purpose of these readings is you know how you feel. You're here because you want to understand their perspective, whether we agree with it or not. I, f I feel like this person thinks they made a move. And you like did not like the you didn't translate it that way, like um. They tried to open the door with you or say something or do something, and felt like you maybe weren't interested. Okay, like as an example, like let's say this person was asking about you know, um, you know, like if this is someone that you work together with and they're like, 
hey, can you help me with this project? Or I really need this help with this? Or what do you think about this? It's, they're, trying, they're trying in some subtle way to gauge your interest. But this person, I don't think they were bold enough. It's like, you know, asking about, you know, how is your family doing? Or, you know, how's work? Or how's X, Y, Z? Or, you know, asking something simple doesn't equally translate to this person's hitting on me. This person likes me. This person's asking me out. It's like they were hoping that this conversation would like develop or uh, something more would come of it. Because this is about moving forward. But someone is really afraid of being rejected. And this person cannot stop over, you know, complicating things, overthinking everything. Like a lot of times with the hermit, this can be that deep, uh, reflective, introspective energy of somebody who is like rereading messages, replaying conversations, thinking about body language, tone of voice, way they spelt something, you know, emojis that were used, you know, really in their head over analyzing everything. You're both really deeply in your heads about each other, wanting things to move forward. But you're kind of getting frustrated and feel like maybe I should just walk away or pull away because something's not happening. Now, when this person's thinking about you, we see the Ace of Swords. So they want to initiate this conversation. What do they want to say? They're thinking about kind of coming clean, talking about their, their thoughts, their feelings, their interest in you. What are they going to say? What are they thinking about... Why is the Ace of Swords here? <laughs> the Ace of Swords clarifies the Ace of Swords. This person wants to be very, very honest and, you know, very direct with you. They want, I, for some of you, I feel like this person's like practicing, like in the mirror. Like I just see someone who's like looking at themselves and like, you look great today. <laughs> like trying to kind of, um, yeah. They are very, um, like I said, physically attracted to you. They think about you a lot. They may even want to tell you this, that you make them really happy. They love being around you. You know, you're really fun. Capricorn, Leo energy here. Um, that's what they want to tell you. They want to tell you they really like you. They like you a lot. You know, they love being around you. They look forward to seeing you every day. They look forward to, you know, any interactions you guys have. They think about you all the time. You know, you bring a smile to their face. They love talking to you. For some of you, the conversation's just so easy. It just flows so naturally between you and this person. And that's what they really like. They don't feel like it has to be forced. You ever know, like when you talk to people and it's just kind of hard to kind of keep things going or it just is really uninteresting or boring. And it's not like, you know, I talk, talk negatively about other people, but like it just, it's so natural between you and this person. Like you're just so interested in each other and have so much in common. What are the feelings here? Well, with the Five of Swords... They're kind of getting frustrated because, again, I feel like in their mind, they think they've made the move, right? And for you, it's like something very subtle. Like this person may not have like a lot of like flirting game or something, you know what I mean? Or this person may not feel really confident in themselves. And like when I talk about ego, I'm not talking about someone who goes, oh, yeah, I'm big, I'm bad, I'm better than everyone else. This person may actually appear very confident, very in control, but they actually may be very deeply insecure. A lot of times when there's a lot of like arrogance, it's like an overcompensation for, you know, some kind of deeper insecurity. So this person is like really nervous to really just be really direct, but they know they need to do this. For some of you, though, they were getting really frustrated because they feel like you're not showing enough interest in them. They're really confused by your signals. For some of you, too, there could be another person that they are talking to about you or this connection or who's somehow involved. Again, for some of you, I, get, I go back to like a workplace situation. I think what we talked about last week where it felt like there was someone else involved who's trying to like oh, you don't want to date so and such. They're, they're actually seeing someone or I think they're actually together with someone or I saw, I saw them post a photo with someone on, on, you know, Facebook. So they're probably, you know, not, you know, it's like your cousin or something. You know what I mean? I feel like there could be a person who's trying to deter this and they're feeling really conflicted. Sagittarius energy, nine of swords. They want this to progress. They want to see this come. They're trying to be patient, but they cannot stop overthinking. For some, for some of you, like I said, this person wants to just 
tell you, but they're afraid that it's going to complicate things or that, you know, their hands may be tied. Like, like if you work together, like it could be like against like, you know, HR or something like it could be something that does like compromise your jobs or if they, they go to school with you or something and it could make things really awkward or you guys are friends or there's like, this may be something that crosses a line. They don't know. They need certainty. They're looking for bigger clues from you, but you're looking for bigger signs from them. Uh, their intentions, they are going to talk to you about this. They do want to, you know, figure out your interest level. They like you. The Gemini energy with the lovers. This person, they're they're going to make a move. What are they going to do? They, they're they going to just kind of go for it. I mean, the fool here, it's like taking a risk, expressing interest. Some of you, they may just kind of come out and ask you, like, if, you, if you're dating, if you're seeing someone, or what your situation is. They may ask you about someone that they're curious about. They want to know like, if you're seeing someone or not. Actions, again, page of swords. This is somebody who wants to find out if you if you like them. If there's someone else in the way, they're getting information. They're asking you questions. They're going for it. They're going straight for it. King of Cups. They're, they're showing you that they have interest. They're going to be very direct. They're just going to be like, so do you have like a girlfriend, boyfriend? Are you married? Do you, what's your situation? Do you have any, you know, they want, they're going to be direct. They're going to be asking you these questions. They're not going to keep, you know, holding back anymore. They know that they want it. They're going to go for it. Now they may not come out initially and be like, Hey, listen, I like you. Let's go out. They may be like, are you seeing someone? What's your situation? Oh, well, I think you're really cool. Like, I like you a lot. They're, they're going to start in that way. Like, they're going to be direct about it, but they're going to be respectful about it, too. This is someone who doesn't want to compromise situations. So they're figuring out, like I said, I got this, like, practicing in the mirror. Like, trying to make sure that it doesn't come across the wrong way. And being certain that you're not tied up into anything else before they try to make their move, right? So there's going to be this conversation between you and this person. They want to ask you out. So that's what I have for you. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.